All right, fourth video already. Um, and uh, in this one, I want to talk to you all about um, some heavy metal classics from the 70s and 80s that I really like a lot. Uh, and so also some of my favorite bands from that, from that era as well. Um, yeah, I was quite of a, a late, kind of a late bloomer, I suppose, to 70s and 80s stuff. I mean, I didn't get into that stuff until I was like, oh, about mid 20s, something like that, because I was more into the thrash metal, death metal type of stuff at the time. Um, but then I remember I watched a documentary uh, in my 20s uh, called Metal's Headbanger's Journey, I think it was called. It was a docu really good documentary done by Sam Dunn. He was the director of it and he's like a really well-known um uh metal journalist who uh does his own channel called banger tv and he did the whole documentary i think he did it in 2004 2005 something like that and he, ba he basically decided to do a documentary about how where heavy metal started and you know how it became so big and all that in the 80s and and, and who started heavy metal back in the 70s and stuff like that and it was really interesting and when i first watched the documentary um it really got me to explore more classic heavy metal stuff you know like from the 70s and the 80s and and the bands i'm going to show you were included in that documentary um and the first one they spoke about um, of course, and this was, they had a debate on who started heavy metal in the early 70s. And of course, that was Black Sabbath and Sam Dunn and the rest of them all agreed that it was Black Sabbath. Um, now, I'm not going to show you all my favorite Black Sabbath albums. I'm only going to show you the ones that I have in vinyl on CD that are my top four favorite Black Sabbath albums. Um, because uh, I... I've decided that I'm going to do my videos only for about 25 to 30 minutes. I just can't do every single video for an hour or 45 minutes. It's just way too long. So I'm only going to do a video like an hour once in a while if I have to. Well, if, if I need to. So uh, yeah, I want to keep my videos short going forward. You know, 25 to 30 minutes. I think that's more reasonable. But yeah, this is one of my favorite Black Sabbath albums, uh, Master Reality love this one um this was actually the first black Sabbath album i bought uh i got on cd back in my early 20s um and one of the so one of the first songs i actually heard from black Sabbath was uh, a really famous one called into the void and that's one of my favorite black Sabbath songs ever just uh you know tony iomi's riffs on that song and his guitar playing is just amazing um and also uh ozzy osbourne's vocals on that just go so so well in that song and he, he his singing and vocal style in that song is just really it's just pure perfection and absolutely beautiful and just breathtaking and just yeah just classic amazing epic heavy metal um and also so many doom bands were influenced by Black Sabbath, you know, like Candlemas, for example, in Pentagram. Uh, and basically, Tony Iommi's riffs influenced Doom Metal, like huge influence. Like he, he he basically started the whole doomy guitar type of playing. He really did. Um, but they, yeah, this album's amazing. I love this one. Children in the Grave as well. Absolutely amazing song. I love the first two Black Sabbath albums as well, don't get me wrong, but this one is, I think this is, this is one of their best for sure. Um, but Children the Grave and Into the Void are just absolutely just beautiful, you know, absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is a beauty, absolutely amazing. Uh, one of the first Black Sabbath albums I heard, and Solitude is a great song as well, I love that one. It's just very doomy classic heavy metal from the 70s and what i've always loved about listening to black Sabbath stuff this type of this this classic 
um, another black set of classics I, I love is it just has that classic doomy heavy metal sound you know like it, it, it's like has that it just gives you that chilling mood if you know what i mean you know especially the riffs by tony iomi and ozzy's classic sing singing vocals um just everything it's just it just it's just great heavy metal you can chill out to you know what i mean it's just yeah absolutely amazing album i love that one into the void though is just i would say into the void is one of the best heavy metal songs ever written easily just unbelievable and of course i love this one too this one's another one of my favorites as well uh volume four um wheels of confusion is just i mean it's, it's, it's incredible it's an absolute masterpiece of a song you know, and I would say this lineup of Black Sabbath with War Bill Ward and Geezer Butler and Tony Iommi and Ozzy Osbourne is easily one of the top lineups of all time. Not just metal and me music in general, in my opinion. One of the best lineups ever. Easily, without a doubt, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and Tomorrow's Dream as well, it's not a great song. Um, but Wheels of, Wheels of Confusion is the one that I love the most. Um, that was the gatefold there. Look at that. Is that not a classic of what? Like, look at that. That's that's great. Uh, but Wheels of Confusion is just another one of my favorite Black Sabbath songs. And I love that album cover as well. It's really cool. And look at that. That is pure, that's pure perfection. That is legendary right there. And totally iconic. And yeah. Just amazing. Such a great lineup that was, honestly. An amazing lineup. Easily one of the greatest ever of all time. Um, but yeah, uh, We Was a Confusion and Tomorrow's Dream and uh, Laguna Sunrise and Saint, Saint Vitus Dance is another great song. Under the Sun as well. But We Was a Confusion is definitely one of my top, probably my top five Black, Black Sabbath songs, especially up there with Into the Void. Just absolutely amazing. But yeah, just another 10 out of 10 classic by Black Sabbath um, from this early 70s. Um, but this one I'm about to show you is, in my opinion, the best Black Sabbath album ever. And my favorite Black Sabbath album of all time. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. I think this is one of the best heavy metal albums ever written. And I would, I think this is, in my humble opinion, the best Black Sabbath album. I love this one. I just think it's absolutely amazing. And again, another great, awesome gatefold. And I love that. That that artwork is just beautiful. You know, just absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, all the songs on this album are are just oh, just are just wonderful. Just. You know everything you want from a heavy metal album it really is and i'll tell you one song that just really blew my mind when i first heard it um well I first actually two songs um yeah yeah two songs um i i just two unbelievable heavy metal classics killing yourself to live and looking for today I would say that those two are two of my favorite Black Sabbath songs. Uh, Who Are You is also amazing. But Killing Yourself to Live and Looking for Today. Oh my God. Seriously, just absolutely amazing. Looking for Today is probably one of the most beautiful, most unbelievable, epic heavy metal songs I've ever heard. Like, just amazing. Like, the, the soul guitar playing by Tony Iommi and... The chorus for that song is just beautiful. Absolutely just classic, epic heavy metal. Really is. And and the, and Killing Yourself to Live, the the, the bass playing um, by Giza Butler and the riffs by Tony Omi on, on that song are just absolutely iconic. You know, totally just amazing. Like... This album is a type album you can listen to 
if you're getting drunk or chilling out in a bar. Like, it has that mood. Like, or even if you're in Amsterdam, uh, getting stoned at a, at a rock bar, and you've got and you've got beer next to you as well, and you're having a smoke. This is the type of album you listen to during that time. Like that's what a lot of Black Sabbath as well. It just gives you that stoner mood. You know what I mean? Um, it just gives you that mood where you just want to drink alcohol and chill out for the rest of the night, hang out, hang out with your friends. You know what I mean? And just have a just have a chill out night playing poker or snooker or stuff. It just it just gives you that chilling mood well you know of just sitting in the bar and s smoking cigarettes and drinking beer all night it, it just has that mood you know what i mean that this that stoner lifestyle type of thing i mean i i, I it just it just gives me that vibe you know um but especially this album this this is just amazing um yeah so many good songs on this as well well the whole album is, is great sabra cadabra as well um, unbelievable uh, Spiral Ar Architect as well, uh, just beautiful, absolutely amazing, um, and the Sabbath Bloody Sabbath as well, of course, is a great song. But in, in, every song is on this on this is great, you know, a National a Acrobat. Every song on this is amazing. But yeah, my top two are Killing Yourself to Live and Looking for Today, two of my favorite Black Sabbath songs of all time. Um, I just I just love those two songs so goddamn much. I mean, yeah. Great album. My favourite Black Sabbath of all time. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath from 1973. Yeah, I love this one to death. It's just easily, for me, I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again, one of the greatest heavy metal albums ever written. Easily. Speaking of Black Sabbath, um, another amazing vocalist, um, you know, the late, great Ronnie James Deal was also with Black Sabbath uh, back in the early 80s and his albums are amazing with, with them as well uh, which I will talk about in another video maybe in a heavy metal part two in the near time but for now I just I just want to include my favorite deal album and for me also one of the greatest heavy metal albums ever written uh, Holy Diver I love this album this is the album that really got me to deal I have his other albums only on CD but this one's my favorite I love this one. This this is just amazing album. Um, I think this is one of the greatest albums ever written in heavy metal and rock and, and possibly hot and rock as well. Yeah, music in general. I think just absolutely amazing. Um, songs like uh, um, Holy Diver, of course, uh, Gypsy. Ah, oh, Gypsy's beautiful. Such a beautiful metal song. Love that one to death. And uh, Talk to Strangers. I love that one as well. Uh, Rainbow in the Dark. Absolute classic. Amazing, amazing song. Um, but if I had to pick a favourite, it's hard because uh, Stand Up and Shout, that's actually my favourite one. I love that one. That is, what a great way to start an album. I mean, that is an amazing album. And, and Dio's voice just just hits me every time i just i just love his voice he had he had such an amazing one of the greatest voices in metal history easily um his just aggressive clean vocals his singing uh, it's just so passionate and so raw and so beautiful you know just absolutely incredible um he he just he just had he had everything as a front man he really did like Easily one of the greatest frontmen ever. Like, um, but Stand Up and Shout, Gypsy, uh, Don't Talk to Strangers, and Rainbow in the Dark are my favorite songs in this album. Uh, just, yeah, love this one so much. My favorite Dio album for sure. Absolutely love it. Holy Diver. Great, great album. Absolute classic. Uh, now, this next heavy, iconic heavy metal band. Um, is my favorite heavy metal band of all time when it comes to heavy metal um and for me probably and for me um also this band also had one of the greatest lineups ever in the in the um in the late 70s and of course i'm talking to you to you about motorhead and bomber was the first album uh i believe it did an ep before this the motorhead ep um 
I actually I'm not really familiar with that one, but this was this this is the this is where it kicked off for me from Waterhead. You know, I checked this out. Um and I remember buying it on CD. Um but the version I got on CD wasn't that great, so I upgraded to the, the, the anniversary one. I think it was a year ago I picked this up because the the the, the other press that I had wasn't great, it wasn't in great condition at all, so I had to upgrade to this. But um yeah, this is an amazing album. I love this one. And look at that. That lineup is easily one of the best ever as well. I mean, Phil the Animal Taylor, Eddie Clark and Lemmy. Yeah, just what more can I say about that? Just an amazing, amazing lineup. Um, so many great songs on this as well. Um, Lawman is a, amazing. Absolutely just... I, Motorhead also has that um, vibe I just told you about Black Sabbath. Like you could just sit in a bar and chill and drink tons of alcohol and just chill out you know motorhead kind of kind of has that vibe as well and they also give me the um when i listen to a motorhead album like it gives me it just gives me vibes like western cowboy vibe because i i like all the old classic western movies and motorhead every time i listen to a motorhead album they remind me of that i'm not sure why it's just the way their style is um especially this some of the songs in this album especially the song dead man tell no tales uh just that's one of my top five favorite moorhead songs uh lawman is amazing as well sweet revenge sharp sure and poison um but yeah dead man tell no tales is, is just absolutely incredible again just like lemmy lemmy to me is i mean Lemmy and Dio and Ozzy are my top three favorites when it comes to heavy metal front men, easily for me. Um, but Lemmy just had that gruff voice as well. Like just he he had a perfect voice for heavy metal. He really did. Um, and yeah, this the, Motorhead was so influential for so many bands, especially thrash metal bands as well. Like like. Every single thrash metal legends, they would say Motorhead was their main influence, and that is no surprise. It really isn't. But yeah, this is a great, great album. And Dead Man, like I said, Dead Man Tell No Tales, just amazing. Like easily one of my favorite Motorhead songs. But there's so many of them. But that that is definitely one of my top favorite by Motorhead for sure. And this one is a classic as well, of course. Overkill. Uh, I don't know if this came out before Bomber or after because both of them came out the same year, nineteen seventy nine, uh, which is which is crazy. But yeah, this is another one that's amazing. Especially the song "Stay Clean." I love that one. That's not that's also one of my favorite uh, favorites as well. Uh, I love that song. Just this brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and also the song "Overkill" as well. Yeah, I, the intro of that song is just iconic. But Stay Clean is my favourite on this album. It really is. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, I want to show you a really classic uh, Motorhead picture I love. Give me two seconds. Uh, yeah, I love this picture by Lemmy. That is iconic. That is, yeah, just legendary. Uh yeah, shame he's not with us. It's a shame that him and Dio um, are not with us because those two are right up there with Ozzy, for sure. I mean, I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love other, other legends as well, like Rob Halford and Bruce Dickinson, but I'm sorry, but for me, Lemmy and Ozzy and Dio are my top three when it comes to this style of music. For me, anyway. Um... But yeah, but but Rob Halford and Dick, Bruce Dickinson are are not in that top five with all with those three for sure. Yeah, but yeah, my top three is Ozzy and and Dio and Lemmy. Um, but yeah, uh, I won't pay the your price. That's a good one as well. That's a great song. Uh, Tear you down. Love that one. Damage damage case. That's also a great song. Just classic. Yeah, just another classic Motorhead album. But Stay Clean is just absolutely yeah just amazing I, iconic and brilliant brilliant metal hit metal song amazing uh 
And speaking of a great metal song, a great metal album, this is another one I love. This is iconic. Uh, again, like I was just saying, like Motorhead music always gives me that Western vibe. This album certainly does. And look at the album cover. I mean, that is just amazing. I mean, it looks like some uh, ca an old Western cowboy movie. I love it. It's just great. And that's why I've always liked the little money. He always had that cowboy vibe, you know, it just... He, he he was just such a cool dude, you know, crazy as hell though, but my God, he, he, uh, he, that's another thing as well. He had a great, they had a great personality. They really did. Um, yeah, it's a shame that all three of them are, are no longer here, man, because that, that, this lineup was just pure perfection. But anyways, yeah, the Ace of Spades song, great, amazing. And I, I, my favorite, two of my favorite songs on this album on the uh, Ace of Spades is, um, Love Me Like a Reptile and uh, Fast and Loose. Oh, just, oh my God. They, those two songs have just got great riffs, great drumming, great bass playing, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And Lemmy, not, not only was Lemmy a great vocalist, he was a great bass, bass player as well. Like he was just unbelievable. He, he was unbelievable everything he did. He really was. And Phil the Animal Taylor, I, I think, uh, the, the late great Phil Animal Taylor, I should say, is also, in my opinion, one of the greatest drummers ever. And, and Eddie Clark was a great guitar player. This, this was the best Motorhead lineup for me, for sure. I love all the other Motorhead albums that came out later on down the line, but I think this is when the band was at their best, in my opinion. And Shoot You in the Back, that's another great song as well. We Are the Road Crew. Jail Bait, that's another good one. I love that one too. Uh, Bite the Bullet, Chases Burton and the Catch, and the Hammer, really good. But yeah, Love Me Like a Reptile and Fast and Loose are, are, are my favorites. And Live to Win, that's also amazing. But yeah, Love Me Like a Reptile and Fast and Loose are my top two from this one. So yeah, Ace of Spades by Motorhead, another Motorhead classic. Last Moorhead, but not the least, and this is actually my favorite Moorhead album, and I think it's their best. And it's Iron Fist. I love and adore this one. This one is perfection, and there's so many great photos on this as well. I'll show you this other one. I mean, look at that. You cannot get more iconic than that. Like that lineup, Jesus, amazing. But yeah, this album is, I would say this is probably one of Motorhead's heaviest albums they've done, I would say. But the songs like Iron Fist, uh, Go to Hell, uh, Sex and Outrage, Speed Freak, uh, Speed Freak's amazing, uh, Don't Let Them Grind You Down. Uh, but my favourite, and actually this is actually my, my favourite Motorhead song of all time, Don't Need Religion. I love that one so much. That is my favourite. That's my favorite. That in my, that is easily my. And I know it's hard to pick a favorite. I, re, I I I know it's impossible. But if I had to pick a favorite, "Don't Need Religion" is my favorite Morehead song. If I had to pick one, uh, "Heart of Stone" is also amazing. But "Don't Need Religion," I I just love the solos on that song. Uh, I I love the chorus that Lemmy does as well. Just. I love it. I, I just love that song so much. Uh, Shut It Down is also really good. And I'm the Doctor is brilliant as well. And Loser too. Loser is a good song. But yeah, every sing all of them are great. I and mean, even Bang to Rights. The whole album is just perfection. But um, Don't Need Religion is my favorite. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this one. This was, And this is actually a special edition version on vinyl I bought a year ago it's um yeah the color i i don't really care for color on vinyl i mean i don't care what color it is as long as i have it but this that is that is really cool like that is that's awesome that that black and blue and uh, what i like about it is it matches the album cover you know um I, speaking of iconic foes that is iconic wow just what can you say about that? Just amazing. But yeah, this is my favorite Motorhead album. And yeah, love this one to death. Amazing. Uh, total classic. Perfect. 
Uh, there's another more head up uh, follow I want to show you on this CD version uh, that I think is absolutely badass. Um, look at that. That is cool. Really cool. But yeah, Motorhead, Iron Fist. My favorite my Motorhead easel, for sure. Just love that one. I know it's hard to pick it. Again, I know it's hard to pick a favorite, but Iron Fist is my favorite. Now, this is another heavy metal classic. Um, I would say this is like heavy metal slash speed metal. And this band was actually also considered the first wave of black metal. Um, and I could see why, to be fair. Um, but yeah, this is another classic heavy metal album. And it it's well loved by everyone in the metal community. And rightfully so. And I'm talking about Melissa by Merciful Fate. Um, just, yeah, this is like, just an iconic album. Merciful Fate also huge influences on extreme metal, for sure. Um, that's a great follow there. But yeah, just a great Merciful Fate album. Um, love this one. The other EP came out before this. It's also very good. But yeah, this is a classic. Um, songs like uh, Into the Coven, The Sand... Uh, the Sand of the Demon Bell, Black Funeral, Satan's Fall, and of course the song Melissa, and Curse of the Pharaohs, that's my favourite one actually. That that one's my favourite, and Black Funeral as well. That's also my favourite one. But yeah, this is the, it's not my favourite Merciful Fate album, which I'll get to in a second, but it's, it's quite close, I'll tell you that. But yeah, this was the first full length uh, of album they did. Um, this came in 1983. But yeah, and I love King Diamond's singing in this as well. He's high, he's high pitch singing. Just iconic, you know, Real, absolutely iconic. A lot of people say he's one of the greatest frontmen ever. I, I don't disagree. I really don't. Um, I really don't disagree with that at all. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing classic. Uh, totally, totally, totally influential, you know, like I said, to the extreme metal and... Um, even thrash metal bands were heavily influenced by Merciful Fate and King Diamond. But yeah, this was a very influential, iconic album by Mer uh, Melissa by Merciful Fate. Um, and this is my second, this is the second uh, Merciful Fate album I'm going to show you. And this one is my favorite. This one's kind of, I see, I struggle to pick my a favorite between this. And Melissa, I really do because both of them are just perfect. Um, it's so hard to pick a favorite between these two. It really is because I love, I love, I love this one to death as well. Um, yeah, there he is. There, King Down himself, the legend, the icon, absolutely brilliant. Um, definitely one of the best frontmen ever. I, I have a lot of people do say, and I have to agree. I, I really have to agree with that. Can't, I can't argue with that at all. But um, yeah, so many great songs in this. Uh, Nightmare, Desecration of Souls. That's my favorite. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good. Desecration of Souls is just, yeah, just just amazing. Like, well, when, when I listen to that song, I can totally understand why a lot of people say King Down is one of the best frontmen ever. Because that song is just, Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just perfection. It really is. It's just great. It's just absolutely brilliant and just simply beautiful. Um, and the Oath, that's another good one. Welcome Princes of Hell. I love that one too. Um, and also, uh, Two One Far Away. That's a great one as well. But yeah, Desecration of Souls, um, is just absolutely amazing. Love that one so much. It is yeah, it is just great. So yeah, um, don't break the oath by Merciful Fate. Uh, again, just another perfect, perfect classic. Um, speaking of Merciful Fate, we're now going to stick with uh, another hit classic band that King Diamond did, and that's that's of course uh, King Diamond himself. He decided to do. Another band with his name, um, and this one's my favorite. When it comes, when it 
uh, my favorite King Diamond album. I love this one to death. And I love that album, that back cover as well. It's uh, it's great. Yeah, this is this is an amazing amazing album. Um, sorry if you hear my cat in the background. That's him meowing. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but if you do, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this one is a uh, yeah. I love this one so much. Um, all the songs are great. Like, but if I had to pick a favorite, it'll be Haunted. I love that one. I I just love the guitar solo on that. Absolutely amazing. And King Diamond, King Diamond's singing in this and of those solos that go on in between. Oh, just yeah, just beautiful. Just simply, just totally magnificent and just breathtaking and glorious just yeah just epic as hell um and also working in the dark and halloween the candle i mean do i need to go on i mean seriously it's just an amazing amazing album fail portrait by king diamond um from 1986 my favorite king diamond diamond album for sure and yeah just absolutely brilliant and this is another king down album i love um and abigail this is an iconic one and that artwork as well oh brilliant and the back cover is badass as well yeah this is just another classic uh so just I, I, again just every song is just amazing i mean abigail song the family ghost a mansion in darkness uh funeral uh arrival sorry not funeral arrival arrival is absolutely beautiful just amazing black horseman love that one that one's probably my favorite actually uh i'm really torn between that one and the mansion in the darkness and family ghost actually i'm torn between three i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah it's hard again it's just hard to pick a favorite song but yeah those ones are my favorite um, I don't know what's my favorite King, I mean, I, if I had to pick a fib, favorite King Diamond album, it has to be Fail Portrait, but both of them are perfect. Like, both of them are just, you can't go wrong with either of them. You know, I love the other King Diamond albums as well, uh, but these two are my favorite. But these, uh, these two are my favorite. Like, just... Just simply beautiful classic metal from the 80s. Like, just, yeah, just absolutely magnificent. That's all there is that needs to, needs to be said, really. Uh, so, yeah, Abigail from King Diamond from 1987. Now, the last but not least, um, this, al this band is pretty much responsible for getting me into... into um, pretty much more extreme metal stuff um and also i actually got into this these guys at the same time i got into uh, celtic frost and hillhammer uh because i was getting to the more extreme metal stuff back then because there was some death metal bands that were heavily influenced by these guys and celtic frost and this is this is the band really i just fell in love with when i first got into them and I actually got into these guys at the same time as I did with Celtic Frost. And I remember listening to both these bands, this band and Celtic Frost, constantly on my phone um, when I was either, you know, going out or I was doing something outside, outside, outside where I live or I was traveling in a train or a bus, you know. I was constantly playing their, sh their shit on my, on my phone. And I'm talking about these guys here, Venom. The this two albums, um, yeah, just total perfection. I love these two albums to death so much. Like, like the same way I love to make a fury on and Morbid Tales by Celtic Frost. I just love these two the same way. Um, these guys are very influential to the extreme metal scene and especially to black metal and thrash metal and death metal, just like Celtic Frost and Hillhammer were. Just absolutely influential. And Cronus is an amazing singer. Amazing front man. Just like Tom G. War was with Celtic Frost and Hillhammer. Um, and look at that. Like, that is just awesome. 
awesome uh, poster there uh, with, the, with the Welcome to Hell. Yeah, I love these two albums. Like, yeah, Welcome to Hell and the black metal albums are just... I love that the, uh, the other ones have done, like, uh, War of Satan and Possessed, but these two are my favourites. Like, um, and this, this version for Welcome to Hell is a golden black edition. Love that. Really cool. Really cool stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, Cronus was a great front man as well. Absolutely legendary. I love that, art, that back cover as well. Really, really good stuff. Um, and that's the CD version as well. Really cool. Really just great, badass, satanic, classic heavy metal. Um, but yeah, and this one's actually, uh, as much as I love Welcome to Hell, if I had to pick a favorite, uh, this one would be my favorite. Um, and I forgot to mention on Welcome to Hell, um, my favorite song from the album is, uh, it's actually one of my favorite Venom songs, uh, Once, 1000 Days of in Sodom. Oh yeah, just amazing. Um, what I love about Venom is they just have that raw sound of heavy metal. And Cronus's vocals are just very gruffy and just gritty and tough and yeah and, and, and really aggressive. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant, aggressive speed heavy metal stuff. Just amazing. Um and also uh Angel Dust as well. I love that one too. And Witching Hour. Witching Hour is great. Love that one as well. And like an angel, die like a devil. And also, also of course, the two first two songs, uh, Sons of Satan and Welcome to Hell. But if I had to pick a favourite, I'll go with 1000 Days in Sodom. I just love that song so much. So yeah, Welcome to Hell from 1981. Uh, but this one's my favourite, like I said, Black Metal. Um, I love the back cover of that. And I have to show you the poster of this one. The, the poster of this one. Oh, look at this. Is that not badass or what? I mean, holy shit. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I love the back cover and the CD as well. Really cool. Very evil and satanic. But yeah, so many great... Uh, again, the entire album is amazing. Um, I love the songs like uh, Buried Alive, Raise the Dead, Teach Us Pet, Leave Me in Hell, Sacrifice, Countless Baffery, and Don't Burn the Witch um yeah just amazing and, and also of course the song black metal which is very iconic but if i had to pick a favorite it's kind of hard actually i'm torn between teacher's pet and uh don't burn with the witch and count countess baffery is amazing as well but teacher's pet actually would say that's my favorite venom song i, I just love it absolutely amazing if i had to pick a favorite venom song teacher's pet would be it but yeah but it yeah like i said though these two albums mean a whole lot to me when it comes to getting to extreme metal for sure just absolutely amazing so yeah that's pretty much all my uh heavy metal favorites and um yeah i hope you all enjoy this video um i'm really glad i did this one because i think it's important to you know show class old classics as well you know that came before you know all the death metal and the fresh metal stuff, you know. Um, but I just thought I, would, I just I just think it's and really good to do because if it wasn't for these legends, metal wouldn't be where it is right now. No way, like no way in hell for sure. But anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'm thirty six years old tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow pushing nearly 40 jesus christ <laughs> time goes by doesn't it very quickly but uh i'm fine with it though i'm cool with it um i'm i i, I don't feel like i'm getting old yet <laughs> but anyways uh hope you enjoy the video and yeah um i'll probably do another video sometime next week uh not sure when yet but i'll keep you guys updated on my instagram page and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video uh, i really enjoyed doing this one and uh yeah take it easy take care good night